Have you ever purchased call options on your favorite stock only to have them melt or decay and go down in value? Don't you hate that? You've also had this scenario where the calls just explode and run up like a rocket. So how do you maintain all the leverage, the long delta of your calls without paying for them? Wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to pay for them? Well, here's a great concept that I've been exploring and playing with and having some success with, and I've been calling it a credit-funded call, a credit-spread-funded call. It's a modification of the Zebra trade, which is the zero extrinsic premium back ratio. Nonetheless, what we're doing is we're buying a call and we're paying for it with premium from somewhere else. So it's essentially two trades and you're going to wash down that ex that extrinsic premium so that if the stock goes neutral, you don't get hurt as much. You still have downside risk, but even that is limited. So the example I'm going to use here is Celsius stock. It is finally down quite a bit after running up so much. So I'm willing to put on a trade. I've already put on a credit funded call and that worked and I'm doing it again because it's setting up, setting up for an opportunity. And the way I would set it up is obviously I'm gonna buy a call, usually, usually out of the money because it's cheap. It'll, it'll rise quickly as the stock goes up and then I will sell an at the money call and then buy s something below. And this is a debit spread, but there's still a built-in credit. You could also sell a put at the money and then buy one below. And that's how we're paying for that top call with the credit from the bottom spread. Usually I do a hundred days. So let's go over to, I'm using E-Trade to get the option ladder. And this is, there's many ways to structure it, but the concept would be, let's say I'm buying this 40 call or a 35 call. It's up to you. And then I'm going to fund it with a put spread or a call spread. So in this example, let's say I'm doing the, the uh, 35 call and it's going to cost me $3.70. So I need to find $3.70 to make this trade work. I could sell the 3167 for 4 420 425 and then I'm going to buy maybe that 23. So it should it should net me close to the whole call. So again, I'm going to buy the 35 call. I'm going to sell the 3167 put. That'll give me a big credit. And then I'm going to backstop my risk with a 23.33 put. And that'll give me about $3. So not quite perfectly covers my call. And if I really wanted to, I could just move my option. Maybe I could do the, the 36.67 call to make that a premiumless trade. So 36.67 call, pay $3, and I'm going to fund it with that put spread. So I keep calling this a credit funded call and it's very similar to a risk reversal so you're buying a call in a, in a risk reversal you're buying a call and then you're selling a put but you do have unlimited risk the reason this is better is you can do this in a retirement account uh, you don't have you don't you don't have to use margin you don't have unlimited risk you have a a defined risk on the downside an unlimited risk to the upside. So that's one of the main reasons this is such a useful trade and I'm a big fan of it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments, but I will continue to make videos on trades like this that you can put in a retirement account or are just have a lot of utility. Let me know what you think. Cheers.